cool. The candle looks like the sun. It's a small little sun in my little room. And it's good, it's pretty, and it's cute. Alright, but okay, let's be honest here. I have candle going. I have a diffuser with lavender and rosemary oil in it. And then I have jasmine and lavender incense burning right now. My room gonna smell lit. Yes, a few of you guys will probably be a little bit confused by the title, like, Bruh, Dakota, you're not even on testosterone yet. Why are you thinking about this? You really shouldn't be bringing your hopes up. Like, I know, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. But, um, this isn't really, like, my expectations. Well, in, in a way, it sort of is, but... Watch the video and you'll sort of understand a little bit better. I hear a lot of, like, adult uh, people who have transitioned and they're just like, I wonder what I was thinking during this. I wonder what I was thinking during this. Did I really think about doing that when I was this? So, you know, I just decided... Why not? I document most things on YouTube anyways, so why not? Let's just do it. So that, you know, when I'm an adult, and if I'm still doing YouTube, I can look back on, the, like, these videos and be like, you dumbass. <laughs> you know, like, be like, little fucking fetus. Uh, and uh, by the way, my millipedes are still alive. Um, two of them are out right now, so Zuko and Tina are out right now. And then my third millipede named Mabel She's my favorite. Um, she is sleeping in the coconut right now. The coconut is their little house that my dad bought them. My dad and I kind of share the millipedes because, you know, uh, this is the week, so they're with me. I'm at my mom's house right now, so I take care of them during the week. And then, like, by the time the weekends come, I'm a literal sea cucumber and I can't do shit. So, you know, whenever my dad notices y'all need some more food, he'll be like, and, you know, sometimes he'll, like, give them a little spray because they need to be sprayed with some water every now and then. So, when I'm a sea cucumber, my dad just steps in and be like, Father 2.0. Even though the millipedes are cute and all, their room's probably going to be better if I just kept on talking about them. But, millipedes are not the center of this video. So... Let's talk about facial hair. Now obviously I have a little baby face and it has lots of acne on it. But when I go on testosterone, hopefully I can uh, grow a beard within like a year, two years, maybe three years. I know it's going to take a while. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to grow a pretty cool beard because, you know, beards. If you guys have not seen my dad, he has an awesome beard. It's like beard it's great i've never seen him without a beard so I, I i've seen the beard and the beard is in my blood let's go into the genetics with the beards on my mom's side and the beards on my dad's side let's start with my dad first um so my dad is white let's just get on the one my dad's more i think he went on like 23 and me he got all that done um, and we do have some Scandinavian in us, so, you know, the Vikings, fuck yeah. And we all know, well, we don't all know, but Vikings today are known for their fabulous, luscious beards. So, if that was true, if that's true, mm-hmm, a <laughs> Viking beard. Hopefully we got, like, a little Viking woman or father that had, like, the good beard jeans, and then they're just like babies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hopefully, there's like some pretty good beard jeans on my dad's side. Um, because you know, my dad, I said he has a really good beard, I love it. I think my grandpa can also grow a pretty good beard, but you know, I haven't really seen him with a beard. You know, I've seen him with the little whiskers, um, but he usually all shaves it up. So, I haven't seen him with a beard so I don't know but judging from my dad I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he can also grow a pretty good beard let's talk about my mom's side 
My mom is Chinese. My mom's brother, he can grow like a pretty sick beard as well. Um, but judging from my brother, I don't. I haven't asked my uncle how his beard first grew, and I'm gonna have to ask him about that because. I just came out to him a few weeks ago because my mom didn't do it for me because she's still embarrassed of me, huh? Judging from how my brother's beard is growing in, it's going to be a neck beard and I don't know how I feel about that. Like maybe like a gamer's beard. <laughs> you guys know like those gamer beard and it's just like who? But my brother's is just like neck. I don't know, the, the luscious viking beard mixed with the little Asian beard. I don't know how that's gonna work out. But it seems if you know, I hope I got the good Viking jeans. But you know, ju judging from my luck, I'm probably gonna get a weird ass neck beard. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so well, can can we just talk about this for one moment? You would think that the longest incense stick would burn the longest. No. The shorter incense stick <laughs> is taking slower to burn. Oh my gosh. And, okay, good thing. Like, the shorter incense stick is lavender. Mm. If you can't tell, I'm slut for lavender. So, like, wrap this whole thing up. Right now, 15-year-old me. Uh, okay, it's September 11th. It's September 11th, okay then. Um, so just to wrap this video up, little me is hoping for a luscious viking beard thing happening, you know. But, chances, judging by my brother, I'm gonna get a neck beard. I mean, it's a beard, I'll take it, sure, whatever, if it'll help me pass. But I guess that's gonna be it for this video, cause it's almost 11 and it's a school night. Why do I do this to myself? I guess I just like to watch myself suffer. Yeah, that's pretty much all I hope I have to talk about. The incense sticks are like neck to neck. Oh my god. Uh, um, yeah, I have to go and I have to watch the race because that's the only thing that matters. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that'll be. You know, you know the drill. Goodbye.